Good morning everyone, this is Justin with Two Stall Garage and today we're finally gonna get the D50 out of the granary. We'll see what happens, it's a little messy, we'll clean it up real good, we'll see what it looks like afterwards. Let's get started. All right, well, let's kind of just dive right in here. This rare gem has been sitting in this granary for about four years now. Last time it was licensed was 2018. I'll bring you right in. You can see that the mice have been in here. There was one season where we didn't have any cats out here and they were just everywhere. The square body back there that is full of mice infested and the inside is just terribly disgusting but inside of the d50 miraculously they had some grace upon this truck as there's no sign of mice and it smells really good inside just like it always has didn't bring any tools out here Basically, I just want to get it going. I want to get it up to the shop. We're going to let it run. We'll take this out for now, put it in the box. Got our positive cover. I'm going to put that in the box as well. Let's see here. There we are. I think that this D50 could earn the award for the dirtiest truck around, at least around this, this part. I don't know if you can see this from over there, but the windshield washer bin and the uh, overflow bin, they're plastic and they're still just, I mean, they're great. They aren't weathered at all. Not that I can see. It's like we're certainly low on fluid. If I have time, I will do a head gasket check on this. If I just turn it over here, I already did a little bit. Oh yeah, it's free as I expected. Should be just fine. Well, there is a ton of gross stuff in here. But I'm just going to pop the battery in for now, and then I'm going to clean it out when we get it up towards the shop. Let's see. Battery tray is still good. It's plastic. Positive on. I'm gonna go grab the key. Here's the keys it has. This is the main one. It's got a bunch of spares. And now I'm gonna do the listen test. Once I hook this up, hopefully there's no wires have been chewed on. I don't see anything at this point in time. We'll see. Not one little bit of draw, so that's amazing. Praise the Lord there for this being okay. We've got zero fuel in the fuel filter. Got some two-stroke gas. Can you guys see? All right, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and take the air breather off. Not the whole breather, probably. Let's see here. Do you clips, four of them. Let's 
before this was parked, it had a brand new, I shouldn't say brand new, but a reman carburetor put on. That carb alone costs $400, believe it or not. Yeah, we're loosening up. This thing is pretty filthy, but I think it's gonna clean up good. Still looking, I don't see any sign of the mice chewing on anything. It's completely amazing. Got a Napa oil filter down here. Well, so here's what we got. I can tell that the mice didn't get in, but on top of this, they were urinating. And some of it ran down in. We're still, we're still free, but I am going to take this off completely. Could be a whole lot worse. Once we get it up to the shop, we can use the vacuum. And I can see I'm going to have to go get some tools. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Got a knuckle buster. <clears throat> Should just go get the regular tools. But this is close by. Got my son's head cold, so I'm not feeling the best today. Yesterday I was down for the count. Today I'm up and about, thankfully. Oh man, okay. Okay, there we go. These things are way too tight. Shouldn't be that tight. Let's see if that's enough to get it out here. Got a vacuum hose. Let's get that off. more lines right down here okay Whew. Whew. so there we go we're gonna dump that we're gonna clean that out Definitely gonna have some vacuum leaks when we fire it up for the first time here, but it's fine. That feels good. All right, well, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's check the oil, I guess, first. was down by the men but it's on the stick so we've got an oil pressure gauge in there to make sure that we're good where in the world did that come from
All right, with this being two stroke, you know the drill. It'll hopefully help lubricate up a little bit. No fires, please. We're gonna fire it up. Any fires? Neutral. Bunch of stuff go flying. Probably, huh? Let's put these bolts back on so we don't lose those. Almost everything is original on this truck. I like to keep it that way. I'm not going to run it long because of the lack of antifreeze in it. Just make sure it starts and runs. Then we'll go grab some. Gotta get that uh, that feel to come up here. Getting any in there yet? Yeah, we got a little feel coming in. It's coming. right there. Now we're going to fix that real quick. You guys didn't tell me the fuel was leaking out this. All right. Well, obviously cracked. It's running though. Go get my knife, we'll make a cut, put it back on. Hopefully I'll take care of the issue, wipe it down. I'll grab some paper towels as well. Well, I found these snips, so they should be good. Mm, let's see how far I want to go. Let's go right down here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
There we go. One more. All right, let's see what we can do there. Let's see what it does. Let's move the gas off the manifold. All right, it's starting up and running. Does that unscrew? I don't remember. Nope. Needs to be changed. I'm gonna go get a quart of oil and dump it in. And I see we're still leaking here, that's nice. Must be leaking out this little plug. So, silliness, huh? Why gotta be that way? Well, I guess. Probably don't even have enough GoPro battery to go through all this, but we're gonna do it as long as we can. Take that off. Let's see where it's leaking from here. Is that a crack in it? Well, I'm not seeing a crack in it. I'm going to assume it's with this right here. So I'm going to take that out. Kind of a bad back silly huh it happens though Let's see if we can get this thing out goes all the way around it's what we want i guess that's what you can expect after sitting for four years runs smooth This has had a new fuel pump, new reman carburetor. It's got the factory AC condenser, factory air conditioning. Just for the meantime, we're going to dump some Lutella in it. Let that run down and see what type of difference that makes in the level. You can tell where the thread seal on this just dried up. Looks like it got, yeah, just dry. I don't know if that was caused by the ethanol fuel or what it might have been. So far, I think it's running pretty good, especially without these hoses attached. All right, let's get this back on. Oh, snap. Why? Let me see it. Got it? Yep. 
Why? Why you always gotta have butterfingers? I drop things at the most inopportune times. Let's try it again. Start threading in. Let's go. Maybe I can use an excuse that my ears are plugged. Just one, I guess. It's plugged all the way, okay? Can we go one more? Maybe. It's going to be it, though. Give me one more. There we go. Okay. All right, let's see. Well, we know where the leak is, if it still leaks. That hose just might be a little too hard. Fire in the hole. I'll tell you what, we got oil, but we got no oil pressure. We're going to go with some antifreeze too. At least the feel issue is done. All right, well, here's the good news. Good news is, started up, ran good. Uh, bad news is, there's no very low on coolant it looks like we replaced the water pump and we put coolant in it we didn't put water in it of course so we're going to take it up to the shop and i think we might change the oil on it i'm i'm not sure i just want to crack open that oil pan to see if any coolant went in there for some weird reason this is 50 50 Universal coolant right here should be enough to fulfill the need for us to get it up to the shop. We'll top it off up there, make sure it's good to go. Perfect. Throw this in the back. And the other thing that I noticed is that we're not getting any oil pressure on the gauge, but um, I would have to believe that it's an oil sending unit. Maybe the mice got to that, maybe it just stopped working. It's been sitting for four years, but I remember that working back when it was on the road. So I'm gonna start it up, let it run here. I'll leave you along for that ride. We're gonna listen to it, make sure we are getting oil pressure. We're just gonna start it up and see. One other weird thing I found is I found that the throttle cable was off. So I'll put that back on. Got everything? Check, 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 check. Fire in the hole. I got the breather in the back. We're going to wash it out when we get up front. Oh, but I can tell you with that right now, it's not getting oil. I can tell it's just too ticky on the top end. So, looks good. Not cool, man. We need to get that so it's lubricating the right way. I'm assuming we got a plugged oil filter. It's the old Napa filter. We're going to take that off. We're going to do it right here. We're going to get that oil pressure restored. I'm going to do an oil change right here, I think. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring you along for the oil change. So when I come back, we're going to change the filter. We'll be down on the ground draining the oil. I'll let you see what it looks like. We're going to restore some oil pressure here, hopefully. Okay, I went ahead and took off this Napa Pro Select filter 
and tell me but it looks like there's a way in and zero passage out look at this it looks like came right up i gotta get you in the picture here not letting any oil through whatsoever it's just like a membrane sitting there you see that see if i push it okay well here's where we're at are we recording yep all right so i picked up wicks you can see this valve is open they're not all squished up or it's not all squished up they don't have it in the books uh so it's a 51381 just so you know i cross-referenced it with the napa filter that was on there i'm gonna go ahead and put some oil on this and put it on i'm kind of a little bit of reverse order here and we're just gonna go with the conventional house brand for o'reilly motor oil 10w30 the reason i'm doing this is because this oil is not going to stay in for a long period of time as a matter of fact it will probably stay in for a short period of time before it gets changed to something else and uh, better for the engine but for the purpose of this for making sure we got oil pressure for cleaning out that old oil before it's changed perfect all right i went ahead and put oil on the gasket there on the seal let's go ahead and get this on much better to have a wix on wix is a good filter I would run this on anything. Amsoil's got some filters too. I would run those uh, if they made an Amsoil for this. There we go. They might make an Amsoil for it. I don't know, but we're not doing that now. They didn't have it on hand, but they could get us the wicks, thankfully. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug each one of these cables. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to crank it over and get some oil pressure before I actually have it fire off. Yep, they're all coming out, so that's good. Cables don't look bad. They've got the original cable holder. That one's busted off, but these two are still good. If you could find those, I'd be surprised. These are probably worth some money just in themselves right there. Okay, next, I'm going to take you down below. We're gonna drain the oil. Let's pull that off. Let's go underneath. Find something to drain it into here. Does that work? Oh yeah. Is it? Um I don't know. I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna do it up. Oh, what do we think it is? It's bigger than the 14. It's a big plug. 19 millimeter. We'll just crack this loose here. Well, maybe. Which way are we turn it? I gotta go the other way. Here we go. singing gear anybody know ouch ah! well that was a nice elbow buster good gravy felt good feels good when you don't think about it let's put this up there ouch a little tall for the knee you might not be able to see much at this point but we're just going to drain some oil out i'll let you see what comes out all right it's all oil it's good <sighs> so we don't have any milkshake scenario going on or water mixing with the oil it would be a shame if it happened to this truck this truck is so nice very solid May not look nice right now, but it'll clean up real good, I believe. All right, let's put some oil in. Got the drain plug back in. Not tightened up to a superhuman strength. 
So that's good. I am super excited to have this thing be filled with new oil. Got five quarts in this. Let's make this so it doesn't spill all over, how about? Like I said, this is just conventional oil. This is five quarts. I'm gonna assume this takes at least four and a half with the filter. Okay, we'll hold up one quart left in there. I don't know if you noticed, but this doesn't have any blow by. Just awesome. All right, I'm gonna pop that back on. It's probably hard to find an oil cap too. Maybe not as hard as some things, but. Got our filter on, our plugs in, our oil is in. We got the plugs uh, detached, plug wires I should say. So, with that said, I'm gonna start cranking on it. And I wanna see that oil pressure come up. Still not seeing any oil pressure on that thing. It's just taking that long to pump up. Okay, we're gonna give it a fire here. Roll on two. Well, we still have got zero oil pressure. It's about a quart. It's about a quarter of a quart low. That looks good. I don't understand what the deal is here. Well, it does not appear that we have any oil pressure at all. So I think the oil pump is out. I don't know what else it would be. That is a bummer. Put that back on. Not good. Well, that's not what I expected or wanted to have happen. To be continued. <laughs> 